Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan announced that a peace treaty with Azerbaijan is nearing completion. However, he firmly rejected Baku's demands to amend Armenia's constitution. Following Pashinyan's remarks, violent clashes erupted between police and demonstrators, who have been persistently protesting his policies, including the return of ruined villages to Azerbaijan and demanding his resignation. Video footage from Yerevan shows police using stun grenades on protesters around parliament. The unrest then spread to the government building before protesters eventually dispersed. Police reports indicate that 17 officers were injured, while the Interior Ministry confirmed that 79 civilians were hurt and 98 detained. Archbishop Bagrat Galstinian, leading the protests, demanded to meet with Pashinyan to negotiate the terms of his resignation. Pashinyan revealed that the peace treaty text with Azerbaijan is nearly finalized and could be signed after minor adjustments. Both nations aim to end their long-standing conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh, a dispute dating back to the late 1980s. In September 2023, Azerbaijan regained control of Karabakh, prompting almost the entire ethnic Armenian population to flee to Armenia. Ongoing negotiations focus on a peace treaty and the demarcation of their heavily militarized 1,000 kilometers shared border. Recently, Armenia returned four Azerbaijani villages held since the early 1990s, a significant step forward in the peace talks. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev has insisted that Armenia must remove references to Karabakh independence from its constitution before signing the treaty. Pashinyan argued that this demand attempts to undermine the peace process, though he remains optimistic about reaching a deal. Additionally, Russian peacekeeping troops completed their withdrawal from Karabakh, which followed a 2020 war between Azerbaijan and Armenia. Armenia criticized Russia for failing to prevent Azerbaijan's retake of Karabakh. Consequently, Pashinyan announced Armenia's decision to leave the Russian-led security alliance, the Collective Security Treaty Organization, expressing frustration over Russia's unmet commitment.